Hi everybody, this is Nick from OVA Let's Plays, and I got good news. Calamity 1.4 is out, and I've seen like Chippy Gaming and Leviathan, and all these people, do, uh, Let's Terraria Let's Players, who I look up to, they're all they're amazing. Play 1.4 Calamity, and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. So what I eventually figured out how to do it was you don't go to Steam Apps and then that whole pr file. You go to uh, my documents, then you go to my games, then you go to Terraria, then you go from there to um, to to mod loader, then you go to mods. I was going through Steam Apps, then that whole thing. I might do a how to install, but the good news, the long and the short of it, is I figured out to get 1.4, guys. So I figured it out. It took me a long time. And I'll include the link in the description of the official Calamity thing, I think, or I'll do a tutorial at the end, I don't know for sure, or a separate tutorial video on how to get it figured out, but I figured it out, guys. It took me a long time, so we're going to showcase and look up see and see what some of the differences are. I got the wrong, yeah, I got the wrong character. <laughs> I got the wrong character. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is awesome, though. I've been looking forward to this. Like, I've been seeing all the new uh, awesome bosses, like the Astrum, the new Astrum boss, and all this stuff. Let's see. Let's see here. Come on, there we go. Here's some of the new ones. Asgard's Valor. That's a new one. Or at least it looks different if it's not a different accessory. Astral Arcanum, some of these look different, quite different. Ooh, treasure bag. I think there's something that... I'm trying to remember the name of it, the thing that summons up everything. It's something with an R. Ah, oh, man, I feel like an idiot right now because I can't remember what, what it is. Yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta look it up real quick. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's the Terminus. The Terminus is the thing that can summon up. There it is. Oh, here we go. That's awesome. We're gonna try out the Exoblade, because why not? And we're gonna try out the, uh, the Melee Pixels. This is going to be awesome. Here we go. We'll do half melee, half ranged, and then one, one, of, one of the life regeneration pixels. Come on, there we go. Alrighty. We'll do another melee pixel. So here we go, guys. It's gonna be amazing. Ah, another K another continue. May the ritual commence. Brain of Cthulhu. Where are you, Brain of Cthulhu? Oh, that's right. I'm in the. I'm not in the corrupt the uh, crimson. So here we go, King Slime. Yes! This is some awesome. This is awesome. This is so cool. I think it was Spooky Lord Minion or something, or somebody said that this would be perfect for the videos that I do. Because I do a lot of bi boss battle fights. And they were right. Oh man, this is awesome. Oh, this is the new one. This is the Astrum Aris. And it's gone. Just as quickly. Oh, you're still alive. Unexpected and exhilarating, but don't get complacent just yet. <laughs> this is so cool. The Bumble Burb. What? I did not mean to do that. I did not. Oh, because it's the Wall of Flesh. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get what you're playing at. It's gonna randomly... Where's the hive mine? 
Oh, there it is. Skeletron, come on. Where are you? There you are. And almost as quickly you're gone. Storm Weaver. Yes. This is so exciting. And you're gone. Awesome. Ah, oh, don't tell me. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, wow. The Aquatic Scourge. Desert Scourge. Lunatic Cultist. Hmm, persistent. Perhaps you have some hope of prosperity unlike past challengers. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Krabulon's new. Yep, that's the new Krabulon, guys. Oh, I am so hyped. Get hyped for this, for sure. Plantera has awoken. Oh, even with the crazy buffed up melee pixels, it's still... I forgot to get a good minion, guys. Staff of the Mechworm, yeah, we get that one. I forgot to get a I forgot to get a good minion, guys. To help me out. Here we go. Cause I, I've got half minion pixels and half melee pixels. So this is gonna this is awesome already, guys. There we go. Perforator hive. It's gonna be a situation where I'm gonna have to go to the the crimson again. Oh no wait. No? Cryogen. Let's see the new cryogen. Oh, it looks really cool. Cryogen looks amazing. Oh, I am so glad I figured out how to do this update. I don't know why I can't oh that's I thought it was a, an enemy, but it's my minion. That's how strong the Minions. May your skills remain something. Moon Lord has awoken. <laughs> now God mode is disabled, so I can get hurt, I think. I think I can, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's make sure both God ones are disabled. Yeah, that one that one's off too. I don't even have to do anything. Oh, I had the life one on the life pixel, that's why. Massively increases regeneration. Is that it? Oh, nope. Astrum Deuce. Here we go. Poltergast. Where are you, Poltergast? There you are. Awesome. And he's gone. <laughs> oh no, the plague thing is here. Oh no, wait, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, Calamitous. Calamitous. Oh, no, wait, it's gone. Oh, man. <laughs> Go forth and conquer till the ritual's end. The siren has awoken. Oh, good. I can attack it outside the ocean now. That's a good thing. I, I love this update. It's amazing already. And I think there's a, a couple new weapons, too. So it's not, not re-sprites and... Resprites on its own is amazing enough, but then you have all this extra other stuff too. Ooh, Providence, this one's gonna be a bit tricky. This one might be a bit tricky because we're out of the hallowed biome. Oh, we beat it. Oh, whew. Supreme Calamitous, guys. It's the first time. The first ever time that we have fought this Supreme Calamitous in the update, so. And I don't have God Mode on, guys. I just have a really good melee pixel thing on. Supposedly, the hit cap has been removed, but the damage and difficulty has been increased by a ridiculous amount, so. I don't know if even with the with the life pixel on or not, as OP as it is, if I'm going to be able to survive. And I also don't know why there's so many of these around, but we'll see. Maybe it's too buffed up. Maybe I'll have to remove. Yeah, I'll keep like two of them on. Here we go.
Here we go, guys. This is awesome. It's the new theme, guys. It's the new theme. Oh, man. Is she? Yep, it's here already. She's here already. Oh, man. The music is amazing. Dean Dorco. Dokuro. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I did not mean it like that. Dokuro. I, I have a tough time with names. It's DM Dokuro is an amazing composer. I hope I'm saying that right. Come on. Now, if I beat Supreme Calamitous, which is highly doubtful, but if I do, it won't be legit because these are crazy buffed up accessories and crazy buffed up uh, weapons. So, if I do, by some rare chance, manage to beat Supreme Calamitous, this is not legit. This is not legit. This is just a, a showcase. Jungle. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. Yeah. In hard mode and vanilla Terraria, um, Fish Rod, in my opinion, is the toughest uh, boss. But in Calamity mod, I think uh, Jungle Dra Jungle Yarn. Jungle Dragon Yaron is the toughest, in my opinion. Oh, I remember the lyrics in this one. Or part of the lyrics. It's very sad. Yeah, yes. Yeah, awesome. Your intention. It's amazing. Aw, oh, man. I wish I would have. Uh, ironically, I wish I wouldn't have killed Yaron so quick. The Devourer of Gods. Huh, you expect reward beyond this mere pebble? Patience, the true reward will come in apparent will come apparent in time. Oh, that was so awesome, guys. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, we gotta see. Supposedly, I don't know everything, obviously. There's, um, but if I remember correctly, the demon shade armor is supposedly has been buffed up. Demonic pitchfork. Uh, so because everyone liked the Auric Tesla armor, like because of all the abilities it has. So let's see. Let's do a comparison real quick. I wish I would have had a video showcasing the old armor. I got those mixed up. Come on. Okay. And that. So that right now the defense. Of course, with the life pixel, it's ridiculous right now. Okay. Here we go. So the defense is 121, and you get the overall effects of all the of all the Terragon and Valkyrie armors and stuff. Okay, increased 20% increased melee speed, increased damage and critical strike chance. Enemies take ungodly damage when they touch you. Max increased life amendment by 200. Standing still lets you absorb the shadows and boost your life regen. All attacks. Deflect demon flame to buff shadow beams and demon size will burn down when you're hit. Uh, fire down when you're hit. A friendly red devil follows you around and removes the damage and critical strike caps. Press Y to enrage nearby enemies with a dark magic spell for 10 seconds. This makes them do 1.5 times more damage, but they also take three times. The That's a new part, though. The press Y part for sure. That's interesting. So, yeah, this is amazing. Alright, let's see here. Bosses. There we go, there's the Astrum Deuce. It's the new boss. Let's fight a bunch of them. There we go. Awesome. So badass. And there's a new couple new weapons I could I think too. There's a chicken one I think like it's just an arrow, a bow and arrow. So let's see, chicken. No. I'm trying to see if there's a new. I think there was a new star cannon. There was supposed to be if I remember right. Yep, the star cannon EX. Star Nada. That's Star Mata. That's interesting. Oh, it's probably an upgrade from Starfleet. Let's see how that works. 
Oh, it looks beautiful. Let's see the recipe browser, what you have to do to get the Star Mata. No, I did not. Man, that's the problem sometimes. I gotta move it. Alright. Where is the Star Mata? There it is. Okay. So to get the Star Mata, you need the Star Fleet. You need Cosmolite Bar, and you need Exodium Cluster. Huh. Exodium, that's new. Exodium Cluster. I wonder, let's look up Exodium Cluster and see what we can make from that. See what the recipe... Oh, okay. We can make the Dimensional Soul Artifact. Boost all dam damage and critical strike chance by 15%. This boost uh, bypasses damage and critical chance caps, but at what cost? There's the Eldritch Soul uh, one. There's the Godly Soul at Artifact, and there's the Star Mata. So let's see what that one. Eldritch Soul. Godly Soul. Dimensional Soul. Let's let's check out Dimensional Soul because that seems to be a combination of all those. And then we'll check out the Star Cannon one. Yeah. Let's see under Recipe Browser what we can make with that. If there's any like further crafting on that thing. No. Nope. All right, now let's look up the Star Cannon one. There's probably a bunch of other ones, and if you guys know of any extra things that I haven't covered in this this yet, please let me know down below in the comments. Now there's the Star Cannon EX. Doesn't seem to do much damage. If you guys want me to do a crazy buffed up video, I can add it to the list. Oh, it looks so pretty, so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh wow, that's really cool. I wonder if we can make anything with that. Like if there's any crafting tree for that. Star Cannon EX. Oh, you need the Astral Bars plus a Star Cannon. Ah, you need the Star Cannon EX, the Electrosphere, in order to make the Star Fleet. It's a new crafting tree for the Star Fleet. Alright, that makes sense. Let's see if there's any new... Let's see, weapons overall. Any new bu crazy buffed up ones at the bottom here from Calamity. Doesn't seem like it. There was a one bow I saw on the Google Plus. Ah, that's the one. The Dread to Lornus. Fires an escalating scream, stream of fireballs. Oh, this seems like it's going to be interesting. Not too bad. And when it hits, I wonder what it's crafted from. Let's see. Oh, you're right, fire. Right fire is really cool. This one seems like an interesting one. It looks like it's based off of Yoron. I wouldn't be surprised if it if if it's a drop from Yoron. I bet it is. I would not be surprised at all. Oh wow, man, it's a crazy. You have to mix almost all the. Mother of God, it has a big crafting tree. Oof, Althenia. That's interesting. That's another interesting one. All right, let's check out Althenia. There's so many, so much interesting stuff. I am so glad I finally figured out. Probably got the spelling wrong. Let me let me look it up again. The spelling is probably all messed up. Let's see. A L E. Okay. Like ale. Alethenia. Okay. I thought it was A L T. There we go. Judgment from the heavens, and right click for another one. Oh wow, this is like Heavenly Gale. It reminds me of Heavenly Gale. Now let's see that. Yeah, it's, it's a lot like Heavenly Gale. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. I might include like a, a link at the bottom or, or at the end of this um, on how to install it because it took me forever to figure out how to install it. And please let me know down below if you have any requests or anything I missed. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Fabsoul. 
uh, for making this this mod and all the people involved. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And thank you, Michelle, my uh, my boo, always for your support and, and this family for the support. And uh, thank you guys for your support as well. Bye, guys.